Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Oh, come on. I got interrupted already. Another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. Now, you might be wondering why am I attacking me your goals? Well, I'm off to go catch that last Pokemon I wanted. Now, while I was off screen, though, I did find out about a new trick that I honestly have not known about. There is an easy way to catch Phoebus, which is this guy that I'm now using to surf with and actually going to use Waterfall with as well. Uh, the easy thing to do with him is actually the same place I told you you can find him at, there's a bridge. If you go surfing and go fishing under that bridge, you can actually find Phoebus 100% of the time, so long as, you know, the chain doesn't break. You can actually pull up a Phoebus every time you go fishing. Now, here's the cool thing. In Omega Ruby, there's a technique to get shiny Pokemon a little bit easier called chain fishing. Phoebus is one of the easiest Pokemon to get by chain fishing because it has 100%, you know, appearance rate. There's nobody else that's going to show up. Now, the thing is, you have to be facing under the bridge. If your, um, if the rod ends up, you know, facing outside of under the bridge, like towards the lit, the lit part of the water, then unfortunately you won't get a Phoebus, or you have a chance of not getting a Phoebus. If you're facing under the shadow of the bridge, you will actually always get a Phoebus so long as, you know, the game decides to be nice and say, hey, you hooked a fish, now you just gotta actually pull it out of the water. Mm, I don't want Future Sight, that move kinda sucks. So we're gonna... F no. We're gonna ignore that. Yeah, give up on learning Future Sight, thank you. Alright. Awesome. Ooh, Dragon Rush, actually, that would be really nice. Mm, no, not for contests. 175 versus 80 and 100. I'll go with Dragon Rush, just because that's, that's just way hard, harder hitting, you know. As long as I hit it once, it doesn't matter. Alright, now, as for this cave, the Pokemon I want is in one of the deepest areas of this cave. So I kind of have to go blitzing through it. Now, unfortunately, I don't remember how most of this cave works. So I will probably get lost a little bit. Um, let's see. What's over here? This is where we dragon tamers do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see how special it is here? Well, alright then. But yeah, now I'm sure you guys might be wondering, you know, why are you giving us a little cop out of an episode? You know, doing things off screen. Well, it's not a cop out. I genuinely wanted to, you know, show off me catching what should be the last Pokemon in our party? Oh, you missed your Dragon Rush, but I didn't. Nice. I'm gonna Mega Evolve into Iron Tail. So, it's either gonna be Phoebus who's gonna be the last person in our party, depending on, you know, how the berry thing goes, because Phoebus is an annoying Pokemon to evolve, honestly. You have two methods of evolution. You have either A, maxing out its beauty stat, if you're playing, you know, the third generation, because that's the only game where its really are easily accessible. Well, you can technically do it in fourth gen, so you could do it that way, but I don't think there was a way to raise your beauty stat there. So you'd have to only do it through, uh, ooh, Brave Bird. Hmm, that's actually really good. I'll get rid of Shadow Claw for that one. But yeah, so, with Phoebus, I honestly don't remember if you could get my Lotic in the 4th generation through their contest. I don't think you could. Alright, so this is a one way. So, it's time to go down this way. But, you could evolve it by getting a Prism Scale and trading it. But, I honestly don't want to do that. I'd rather you know, stick to 100% 3rd generation stuff. Alright, there we go. And with that in mind, I don't want to rely on the whole, oh, trade it with a prism scale. You can get a feet of my load and then trade it back, and yada, yada, yada. So, oh, I can't escape because of me. Look, what was I thinking? Rock slide. That's cute. Alright, now what is good about um, getting the Pokemon I want or Phoebus, either one, because they're both going to be good. Uh, Phoebus is going to be my Surf user uh, outside of... Um, what's this Pokemon's name? 
outside of Lanoon. I'm still gonna primarily use Lanoon. I know there's something I can find up here, isn't there? Um, I'm going to the bag. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm just blind. Dowsing machine. We're gonna register that to the fourth slot. There's something here. No. Also, what in the world is making that sound? What Pokemon is this? Something I've never caught before. Recognize that sound off the top of my head. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. It's definitely not you. Now, what is gonna be fun though, if I get either one of them, is I know a good way to train them, which is obviously battling in here, because Pokemon are in their 40s, so upper 40s and get some good training. Or I could go to if I use the Eon flute. These places called Mirage Islands, or sometimes it'll be a Mirage Forest, and so on and so forth. The Mirage locale show up once a day, but if I get a good one, there's one in particular, I forgot where it is, it is a Mirage Forest though, that only shows up with like two or three Pokemon, and one of them is a Pokemon called... What is it? What is it? Man, I am just drawing a blank. I'm gonna have the information on screen. But that Pokemon that shows up there ends up giving you a lot of EXP. And by a lot, I mean like it could easily level you up like two or three times if you have the right items. So if you have stuff like the EXP share plus a lucky egg, and you know you're like 10 or 20 levels below it, you could easily get like 10 levels each time you do it. So it's really handy for, you know, leveling up pokemon that are really low level and then there is doing the what are these things called the secret bases if you go to the secret bases there are some secret bases you can get that are they're they're famous now online because of how they work with secret bases you can battle the trainers in there once a day someone somewhere had the amazing idea of saying hey we're gonna make our secret bases nothing but blissey and they're just blissies that can only heal you. So you can't die to the blissies. You just need to kill them. Blissey in game gives you the most experience out of any Pokemon anywhere. So you combine that with an EXP share and you know a lucky egg and actually showing up in battle, you end up getting a boatload of EXP. I'm gonna rock slide here. Um uh, bolt switch right on out of this one. But you can get some really good ESP by doing that. I honestly wish I had remembered that sooner. What is that? Okay. Because if I had, I would have done that instead of trying to just grind the old-fashioned way for some of these Pokemon. But I was like, you know what? Doing that, because honestly, the Blissey tactic, it would take forever. Only because it's like level 99 Blissey, level 100 Blissey, and it's six of them. And there's six trainers with like three of them each. So you can get a crap ton of EXP, but it takes forever to beat them. Just by the sheer for the sheer fact that it's four or five blissies. And you just sit there like, oh well I I guess I'm just gonna have to beat you up eventually. I'm gonna try this with this. Oh wait, no, that would actually hurt you. There we go. But if you're definitely playing along, you, you want a good way to train, look up the, uh, it's called the Seek Blissey Secret Base, or like fastest EXP gain in Pokemon Omega Ruby, and it'll be a QR code that you have to get just to do it. But it is so worth it. It is so worth it. Because I I did that on one of my playthroughs of Omega Ruby, and I was able to get to like level 100 before I even got to the actual Elite Four. I was able to body them real quick. But it's honestly, for me anyway, I like the challenge of going through it without having to hardcore farm before you get there. Oof, Raiju, please. 
I personally like to go in there with, you know, all guns blazing. Whatever I've got is what I got. And then if I have to grind up afterwards, so be it. I don't like going in there, like, thinking, okay, I know exactly what I need to grind out. I know that these guys only hit level 50, so if I hit level 70, then I can just mollywog them. I don't like thinking like that in terms of Pokemon battling. I like to try my skill out. And obviously, you know, there are days where my skill is just retarded. It's just, nope, I, I can't think straight, and I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, there we go. And granted, I'm not even using the team that I would normally use for this kind of stuff, because the team that I would like to use, I can't get right now. Let's heal you up. I would love having Mega Aggron on there with the right stats and, you know, the right nature and all that stuff, but doing that for just a casual playthrough, eh, it seems a bit overkill. Because I could sit there and, you know, grind out for the perfect ride, here, grind out for the perfect uh, Combuskin, or the perfect uh, Soligra, and doing all that stuff, but it's not as fun. I'll do that for, like, competitive battling if I ever, you know, get back into that. But I don't. I wouldn't do that for just a casual run-through. Hmm. What is this supposed to be doing? There we go. Is it this way? I think it's this way. I want to say it's this way. Oh, no, I'm wrong. This is the <laughs> same way I went. Uh, maybe it's this way. Have to go. I have to get to that middle guy there somehow. Alright, come on, Zubats. Or Zubats. No, please. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Please. No. Thank you. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a repel. I don't feel like dealing with these guys. Where is it? Where is it? I'm, am I just blind today? There we go. Super repel. Alright, there we go. I should be good now. I need to make it to that middle section. So I already beat you guys. this way. Straight. Down. What's over here? Let me go check out what's here first. Ah, there we go. This is where I wanted to go. I think this is the right direction. I'm hoping this is the right direction. I don't want that. Is this the cave? Oh, I think this is the cave. I think this is the spot in the cave that I wanted to be at. Yes, yes, this is where I needed to be. Okay, this is this is gonna be a fun one. All right, well, I think I'm going to cut out until I get to my first one, and then once I get my first one, I'll just uh, hopefully catch it. Other what? Fudge. Otherwise, what I'll do is, I'll just, uh... uh come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Somebody showed up. Who? Who is it? Somebody in the water? What? Is it? Yeah, it was still rock. Alright, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna cut off till I get to my first one, and then after that, I'll, uh... Hopefully be able to catch on the first try. If I do, then I'm good to go, and then we can just move on to the next segment of the story. Otherwise, I'll be uh, stuck here for a little bit. All right, so surprisingly, that didn't take too long. I got my first one. It's a Bagon. Let's see, can I? I'm gonna actually switch out just to be safe because I got a feeling I'm gonna one shot you with Raiju. I'm gonna switch out to my net trick. I'm gonna see if I can paralyze you. If I can, I should be able to catch you. But this is gonna be. Um. This is gonna be our final team member. Oh, perfect. I didn't even need to do anything to paralyze you. You did it yourself. So this is probably gonna be our final team member right here. 
Mad at both. Well, at least for now, anyway. Um, the team is going to definitely have more than 10 Pokemon by the end of the game. So I'm going to rotate them around depending on who I need when. Let's full switch here. Mm. I can switch to Saligra here. Another crunch, okay. Alright, alright. Respect, respect. But you should be an easy catch now. Or not, okay. Hmm. Let's try that again. Wow. Didn't even, like, shake the ball once. I'm gonna do it again. One more try. Can't be that bad. There we go. Third time's the charm. But we got ourselves a big on. Now, what to name you is the question. Hmm. Uh... I don't know what to name you. I'll just call you. I was about to say Jet, but not Jer. Alright, we're gonna call you Jet. So this is our Bagon. We now have Jet. And with that, we have now caught all of the Pokemon we want for our party. At least for this first half of the game, anyway. So we're gonna escape here. Use the escape rope. Next up, I'm going to use the Eon Flute. I'm going to fly on out of here. And we're going to start making our way towards the Elite Four now. So where we want to go is, if I'm going to take the right direction. Whee! Go faster, go faster. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. So this is where we want to go, but we obviously can't land here yet, so I'm going to go land over here on Route 126. 126, where is it? I just saw it. There we go. So we're going to land right here in Route 126, and then we're going to hop on Phoebus and surf our way over to Evergrande Island. Or Evergrande City, technically, I guess. Alright, so it shouldn't be that far of a ride. I'm actually just playing the right simulator once again. Ah, oh, crap, that's it. Are there any drowning Pokemon or trainers here? I've taken upon myself to go on swim patrol. Well, as you can see, nobody here is drowning. So... We're just gonna have to teach a lesson there. Alright. Oh, man, I feel bad for you. Sorry. That's actually gonna, uh, uh, that was actually gonna hurt a little bit. This should hurt a lot more though. Actually, it didn't. Okay. Hmm. Slight predicament. Uh, Manek trick. Come out here. All right, there we go. Brine. Ah. Okay. I should be faster than you, so I should be. Oh, never mind. I'm not. I instant regretty spaghetti. All right. Uh. Oh, I don't have cell on me because I have Phoebus. Oh. Hmm. We're gonna go with Sleeker here. All right. So if I could just raw powerhouse it, I should be good. How you can turn into a bird, I don't know. But we're gonna run with it. You just jump really high and swing on him. Alright, I'll take it though. Some good EXP. There we go, everybody's leveling up. Wah, I think I might drown. Well, you certainly cracked under pressure. Uh, ooh, more repels. 
What's this way? Uh, just some random island. I don't want to fight you. I'm gonna just ignore you. Uh, oh, is this one of those dive spots I can just skip the little thing there? Oh, I don't have dives, that's right. I'm not teaching Phoebus dive. I'm just gonna go with Surf. I'll just go around. Do it the old fashioned way. I could be in the complete wrong spot too, anyway. Let's see where I'm at. Let me check the map. Oh, wait, I did not mean to move that. Whoops. Let's put that back where it belongs. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in the completely wrong spot. That's what it is. I gotta head south first, and then I go to the right. Alright, let's try this again. So I need to go this way, ignoring you. Find this way. South, 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 south. Right. Uh. What? I don't care what that sound was. Weird. Alright. Another tentacle. Hello, Raju. We're gonna ignore that tentacle, okay? Okay. So, oh, come on. Evergrande City is still a long ways away. I don't think so. I mean, if you're swimming there, then yeah, it's probably a real, real, real long ways away, buddy. But you see, I'm on a Pokemon. Should be right around the corner for me. Alright, that's cute and all, but... Thunder! Alright. Now, Iron Tail, and that should be the end of that. Oh, recover. Okay. Alright, listen up here. That's cheating. There's no Cleric here. Get that out of here. Oh, come on. We are now actually at Evergrande City. Ah, uh, if I get an update again. Alright, up the wall we go. Whoops. The official start of our, like, the finale. Because that's it. After this, is just Elite Four. Alright, let's heal up real quick. Alright, now I'm not gonna keep me Nedrick, and I'm not gonna keep Phoebus. Uh, well, no. I should keep Phoebus for now. Actually, no. I don't need Phoebus right now. So we're gonna deposit. Phoebus. Deposit main Nectric. Like, I'll come back for main Nectric and possibly Phoebus. Like, later. But for now, I want to take Big on because I need Invoovol. You've got four different moves. Oh, wait a second. I gotta leave somebody. I'll leave. Mm, I don't want to leave Astalos, but... I'll leave Astalos for now. Just for now. Because I do need the Waterfall. I think. If I remember correctly, I need Waterfall in there. So I should be good. Hmm. You know what? I 
want to take you instead of Vakona too. But Vakona needs the EXP though. Oh man, this is a this is a bit of a pickle. You know what? No. I'm gonna take Vakona, I'll leave Bagon, I'll train Bagon before I go to the Elite Four. This is the plan. This is it. This is it right here for now. So we're gonna go into this cave. Let's see how far we can get. Ah, what the Hoenn region is famous for. Not their Pokemon, not anything else, but their they're just glorious fanfare of trumpets. So, in here, you're gonna pretty much use every single HM you have besides Cut. So, you gotta be ready for the long haul. Especially because once you're in here, it is a pain to backtrack. Alright, I'm gonna ignore as many of these random Pokemon encounters as I can. Because, I'm gonna see how fast I can go through this cave. Alright, let's see. Full heal, that's gonna be useful for later. Let's see what you want, buddy. I didn't even read your text. I'm just gonna beat you up real quick. Oh! Oh, so once you get the national decks, they just start throwing Pokemon at you from all the regions, huh? Including the trainer battles. Well, that's something new that they did for this generation, for this game. I Now, keep in mind, I haven't played this game in a long time. But I definitely don't remember that. Because the way it usually works in Pokemon is the first run through you do before you get to the Elite, or until after you beat the Elite Four, you're pretty much exclusively locked to all the Pokemon that are exclusive to that region. So you don't get to battle a Pokemon from outside the region until after you beat the game. But it makes sense, you got the National Deck, so a lot of Pokemon that aren't from this region are starting to show up. Oh man, they, they're throwing out all the stops. At, oh, that means Elite Four is going to have it too. Oh man, this is gonna actually make this really interesting. Hello, Rai Hyperior. Like a drain? Hammer down. Oof. That hurt a lot. But I could do some more. Alright, now that's a free heal for me. And a free death for you. Alright, so Ligger's now level 51. Okay. And Noon's 39, for whatever reason. Impossible! I lost? Well, you did, buddy. You got beasted on. Alright. What's up here? Yet another trainer. Uh... Just have to put up with it, I guess. Mm. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, it's a frost last. Okay. Ghost ice type. Funny enough, its pre-evolution actually does exist in this region. Ow. There we go. That takes care of that. EXP share. Your battle style is fantastic. I mean, I just hit you with an iron tail. Can't really call it a style, just uh, I wanted to beat this battle as quickly. Mmm, they require flash, yay! Uh, I said it would require all the TMs, not the HM, or all the HMs, not the TMs. Great, so I need to go find somebody with Flash now. Alright, so you know what, guys? I think I'm going to end this off here. I'm going to try and remember what other things I'm going to need for this, because this is just going to be annoying. Oh, man. Let me see. Who... Can you guys... Who can learn... Okay, so who can learn Flash? It was... Fakona and Cell. 
Do I have a TM that they already have? Because if that's the case, I'm going to teach somebody Flash and just relearn their moves. Oh, no. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to leave it off here. We, you know, we caught ourselves the final Pokemon of our party. We made it to Evergreen City. We started to go through the cave. We're going to finish this up in the next episode. And then we're also going to go ahead and get through, like, we're going to maybe even start the Elite Four if I get through the cave fast enough. So I'll see you guys here next time on Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, oh, before I forget, motivational quote of the day. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. C.S. Lewis. Alright guys, I hope you all have a great day. I will see you here next time on Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby, where we will hopefully get to the Elite Four, maybe even battle one of them. And I will catch you on the flip side, guys. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And, you know, hit that subscribe button if you really liked our content, or my content. I, I don't know why I said our. If you really like my content, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so that way you guys aren't left in the dust when I'm constantly uploading episodes. You can always be up to date with the newest stuff. And if you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And in either case, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you think I could do better or, you know, just anything you found funny in general. So, I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you here next time. Bye!